Well, hello, Christ United Methodist Church friends and family. It's Pastor Jeremiah, and I'm coming to you with a special kind of brief message today. As some of you may know, uh, we've started our Consecration Sunday or our Stewardship Campaign for the year. And if you don't understand what these two words are talking about, stewardship and consecration, stewardship is talking to us about how we manage what God has entrusted us with. And consecration is when you take the ordinary things and make them holy. And so as each year, like many of us do, we have to look at in the world and how we survive and how we do the things that we do as a church. You know, how do we continue to feed thousands of people or thousands of meals every year? And, and how do we continue to do the ministries that we do and, and open the community up, uh, the building up for the community to use for upwards or, or the number of things that we do as a church, including just worship each week and allowing people to plug in and find their friends and family to join them on their journey to find God's will and way in their lives. It's, it's a difficult thing for the church to exist in the world. And because the church exists in the world, it requires us to do things like talk about money, which most people really don't want to hear. Uh-oh, here comes a pastor yet again trying to get some money. Uh, I understand the cliches which makes these types of videos and this type of conversation difficult for every pastor to have. Yet, it's important. It's an important aspect especially now during COVID, when we're not able to gather and do things the way we always have. And I know for a fact churches and local churches everywhere are struggling to find ways to continue to do the ministries that they've done without all the same support that they've had. And yet I also want to not, not discuss our consecration or our taking our money, which is ordinary worldly stuff, and consecrating it, taking that money and making it holy. I don't want to talk about that in a way that expresses to you that the church needs money and you need to give more. It's true or not, that as that might be, what's most important when we talk about our giving and our consecration isn't a need. Instead, it's our hope, and my hope specifically, that we let God into our lives, that we let God into our finances, that we find ways to put God at the center of all of it. You know, a long time ago, I uh, went and I took my wallet and I put a picture of Jesus in it. You see my wallet's pretty empty. Um, <laughs> but I put that picture in there to remind me that everything I have is a gift from God, that it's all his. And so when we talk about our consecration and, and, and taking the ordinary things and making it holy, I don't want it to be just about money. Your time, your presence, your very self is a gift, something that we can use to give back to others, to take these ordinary things and make them holy. And so I invite you this year to, to find ways to increase how you think about your giving, to make it a spiritual discipline for you, that as you give and as you take a, a look at what God has given you stewardship over or what you manage, how you do so that puts God at the center of that. And if your heart is driven in such a way, looking at how he's in your 401k and in how you make your expenses and your purchases and in your very life, your very breath, each moment is gift from God, as he holds us in his hands to struggle to struggle with what God is calling you to do how you give back to God what is God's already how do you give back to God you know it's more than just finances it's about our whole lives it's about our whole self it's about being a disciple and I know many times you worry that uh, pastors and churches expect you to give away all you have so you can be broke and unemployed or homeless and that you can't take care of anybody else and that was a different time and a place when you heard those things in those letters that Paul wrote or those scriptural disciplines where people sold off all their own and started following Jesus on the way it was a different time and place and yet, we are still those called on the same similar journey to be disciples. And so we can turn it all over to God in not such a way that we have to give it all away. Instead, make sure that we're using what God has given us in a way that God would be pleased with. That is God-centric, so to speak, that puts Christ in the midst of it. And I'll invite you to struggle with that, not just now, but the rest of your life. What do you do with what God has given you and entrusted you with? I invite you to prayerfully consider how you can support our church. 
not just our church, but your churches. If you're listening to this and Christ United Methodist Church isn't your home church, I invite you to strongly consider how you can support local churches in general. If this church has been a blessing to you, how can you continue to support us in being a blessing to others? It's an important thing for us to consider. A difficult conversation to have and one that's necessitous in this time and place. Because people are in need everywhere. And the church should be that hands and feet entity that can show up when times get rough. And so please consider prayerfully your spiritual walk, how you will take the ordinary things that God has given you and make them holy. I leave that with you in Christ's name. Talk to you again soon.